Because it is Jen, make sure you're hashtagging Pretty Money Gang. Pretty Gang in the comments. Okay, so you guys, I kind of talked to you guys about is it illegal to braid hair without a license? <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so here's the answer. If you braid hair in a state where you do not need a license, then no, you are not breaking a law. You are not braiding hair illegally. Make sure to check it out in the description below. And the link above, I share with you what states you need a license in to braid hair. Also, make sure you guys are grabbing my how to how I started a hair braiding business with ten dollars, the replay or the course. Make sure you're getting it in the description below. So if you need if you braid hair in a state where you need a license, then yes, ma'am, it is illegal and you are breaking the law. Now, legal action will depend on. I put this twice. Legal action will depend on your state and the severity of how they, how they, meaning the state and or the state board, found out that you were doing, doing hair or braiding hair without a license. Okay, so let's just talk about the fines that possibly may come down the pipeline. Okay, if they found out that you are practicing or braiding hair without the license that you may need for your state, this can be a misdemeanor. I said misdemeanor, misdemeanor, and it can be $500 to $1,000 that you may be fined if you are braiding hair illegally in the state that you may need a license in. Now, it also may be a felony, and the, the fine can be $1,000. Now, how it may turn to a felony is because if they just find out you're doing hair, then and no license, it's a misdemeanor. But when they find out you're doing hair and it was brought to their attention by a client that you have damaged their hair in a severe way, you may possibly be charged with the felony and you may possibly be fined $1,000. Again, this is something that you definitely need to check out with your state. So make sure you're going to your state and check out your state board and find out the fines and the extent of the fines or the severity of the fines. The next thing that is going to happen, if they found out that you're doing hair without a license, you're going to receive a 12-month or more ban from the cosmetology state board. So say, for example, you get caught doing hair today and, you know, things get processed. A year is going to take place where the state board will not allow you to get a license because that is your, um, pretty much it's your kind of reprimand for doing hair without a license so they're going to say you're banned from getting a license for 12 months so you won't be able to braid hair or you won't be able to do uh, you won't be able to get the license from the state board if you need it because they're going to ban you for a year pretty much and pretty much you guys things to think about i need you to go verify if you need a license in your state Go get it and avoid practicing without a license. And when they say practicing, avoid rendering service, meaning go braid hair if you know you should be braiding hair with a license. The next thing that you can possibly, that can possibly happen, you guys, if you're braiding without a license is jail time and or summary or just regular probation, okay? Another thing that you may have to do if they find out you're doing hair and braiding hair illegally is you may have to pay restitution to the client. So you see how earlier we I said that they may be fined? For example, say you got fined the $500. That fine will not go to the state. The fine is gonna go to the client if they say you need to pay restitution or some places make you pay the fine and restitution. So the point and the moral of this is get your license if you need a license in your state. Again, I'll leave that in the description below and I'll be talking to you guys later. Again, make sure you guys check out my Braid, for, braid Hair for Cash course where I give you the game. I tell you how I started my business. I have things that you should get in your braider bag. I have... You know, the Facebook game, the Craigslist game. I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, you guys. Remember to hashtag pretty gang in the comments. Bye, y'all.